What's up guys, Nerd Up Desk here, and today we're going to be looking at some cool retro tech I found. Uh, the next few videos I wanted to go back and look at some old technology that I had laying around. Uh, expect to be some cool retro technology. Today we're going to be talking about a Bell & Howell Auto Load uh, 8mm projector, specifically a Super 8 projector. You might be looking at this box and being like, well what the heck is this? It is a projector, and it plays uh, film tapes that look like this. Um, and these films are, are um, specifically uh, Super 8, and they're uh, 8 millimeters across. These were predominantly used from mostly the 60s up until about um, the late 80s or so, when uh, mostly people used these. A lot of people use them ho uh, to show home videos that they shot with their own Super 8 cameras. Or they would buy short films to actually play on these uh, film projectors and they could show them on big screens so you wouldn't have to crowd around a small TV. This specific model, I'm not sure when it's made, but it has a auto-loading mechanism for the film so you don't have to manually wind it, which could be problematic for some. And it's in a somewhat small, portable, carryable form factor. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's like, it, it's a briefcase here. And you just uh, pull this tab to open it up to actually access the uh, panel. All right, so this is what you get when you actually open it up. And um, inside the, the case, you, it gives you a uh, another film reel. So basically what happens, I'm gonna load these where they're supposed to go. The film's gonna come down into here, roll in, come over the lamp here, and I'll show you that in a minute, shoot out the lens, come around, and then go back into this this reel right here, which I'll put on. So it's going to go through and come out to right here. The actual rejection goes through this lens, which you can actually remo remove. And I can uh, read this, uh, read the sides here. It works a lot like uh, a photography lens. This specific one, here let me read it on the bottom. It's a 20 millimeter to uh, 32 millimeter f1.5 lens made in the USA. This whole thing's made, I think, uh, some of this was made in Japan, and some wasn't. So this is a telephoto lens, so you can change how close or how far you want it without actually having to move it. And this would be the focus ring right here, and I can put this just right back in. Here, there you go. And that's how you would adjust the focus. Specifically, the film will come across right here, and uh, there will be a lamp projecting through this square, and it will hit the lens and project your image. So this specific model, um, here's something interesting to show. Um, yeah, that's not the original lamp. 120 AC uh, halogen 150 watt uh, lamp that I modified to fit in this socket, uh, which was originally this bulb right here, uh, which is specifically called a, a DJL lamp. They don't make them anymore, but you can still buy them, but they're old stock, so it's a gamble if they will actually work. This right here is still uh, temporary just to hold it, but it does work. Um, from what I can tell, it's very close to the original Bryce's brightness, but maybe a little bit not as bright, but it does work. And that lamp cost me 5 bucks at uh, Home Depot. So when you plug it in, this switch will move the gears, and this switch will continue to move the gears uh, with the lamp on uh, since back then you wanted to use the lamp as least as you could because you don't want it to overheat or burn out or something this super 8 actually has a very interesting feature and that is it could play it in slow motion if you switch that down it'll f it'll load the frame slower and what this knob does is it adjusts the alignment for the frame so imagine if this is the frame you move it up and down on the thing to make sure that the frame's hitting the die dead on, so it's projecting the image in the correct alignment. Right here, you can move it, uh, you can make the film go forward, you can make it hold on one, or you can make it go in reverse, I just did it, yeah. So it's reverse, hold that image, and then forward. This is the specific film that I'm going to be showing for demonstration, and this is it in its protective canister, and as you notice, it's starting to chip pretty badly, and that's because uh, this plastic is getting pretty old. Uh, I don't know when this was produced, but uh, it's it's getting there on age. So you pull it out like this, and uh, this is actually a short film or a segment from a movie called Keystone Hotel. 
you can actually see right there. Hold on, let me flip it around. Yeah, Keystone Hotel. If, if you notice, it's not actually any film yet. That's to protect it and to make sure that you can load it in without like getting any grease on it and making sure you can have everything ready for the film to actually roll. So this is uh, made in the USA. I'm going to show you uh, playing this one, and I just called it Hotel, yeah. So we want to watch a movie on this thing. We're going to take our uh, reel here, our auto load reel, and we're going to put it on this back one right here. Now there's two... For this specific model of Super 8, uh, there's two positions. This position right here for playing, and if you want to rewind, it's up here so it can go to direct the other reel. And I'll show you how to rewind it when we get to that point. So I'm going to put the tape on to where the holes will go towards me. And this specific one has a lot of bad notches on it. And the way it works is uh, every single, you know, there's increments of holes on the film. And the gears will pull it through to uh, increment the film a line, uh, down. The problem is uh, this film has been played a lot or has aged not well and uh, has a lot of them have actually broken. So as it goes on, in some spots it will it'll slip gears and not catch properly. Uh, first things first, we're going to, um, this is a, like I said, it's an auto load model. Some of them you would have to manually wind, but this one was an auto load, which makes it a heck of a lot easier to get the film in there right so what we have to do is hold down this plastic bit shove the film in up here it's going to roll through and then once it catches on this reel right here it'll slow down and then I can let go of this part and uh, the film will start so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you that loading sequence Now that your movie is done, you're probably like, well, damn, how do I rewind it? And you have to put this in the rewind position, which is up here. Put this on reverse right here. And what we want to do is we want to find our ribbon, film ribbon, right here. Found it. Uh, go over here to your other uh, thing. You want to. There's going to be a slot where you can place it. You want to put it in and wind it to where the slots are facing you put it on here there you go and you want to pull this tight make sure it's tight and we're going to hit the motor and it's going to rewind it And there we go. We get that infamous film slapping. And uh, there we go. It's rewound and ready to be watched again. I do have some other films that came with this. And they're home videos. I'll, I have some shots of uh, how the quality looks in better detail. So that's it for this Bill and Howell Super 8 8mm camera. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. Disliked it if you didn't like it. And uh, subscribe for more tech videos. We come out with neat videos like this all the time. And uh, thanks again for watching. It means a lot. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>